Hello, you guys. Today is Tuesday, the 29th. Matthew and I were just having a discussion about that, and I still can't get it right. Um, it is Tuesday, October 29th, and it is like almost 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I am getting ready to take the kids. Well, we have to go pick up Mikey from school, and I'm going to take the kids to the dentist. And then Jay is coming and picking up Michaela and taking her to basketball practice. And... After the dentist, Matthew and I are coming home and eating dinner. And then when, when Jay and Mikey get home, they're going to eat dinner. Um, and then it'll probably be close to bath time by that point. Um, I'm exhausted, so I fixed a third cup of coffee. Um, go me so anyways that's what's going on we are about to head out to go pick up sass and um tomorrow is a really busy day too we have to go get groceries for me and my grandfather so we're gonna go pick up his groceries drop them off bring our groceries home drop them off and put them up i have to make sausage balls for mikey's class for thursday and then I also have to, I have some bananas going bad, so I need to make banana bread, um, which will make Mikey really happy. And so I got to get that done. And then I have another podiatrist appointment at 220, and I will show you why I have another podiatrist appointment here in a little bit. I'll actually pop a picture up on the screen right here of why. Um, or part of the reason why I'm having some really weird bruising on my foot and um, my heel is very painful. So we're just going to go get that checked out. Um, being a diabetic, it's really important to take care of your feet. And so I am, I showed my mom my foot and she was like, no, 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 no. You need to call him now and schedule an appointment. And I was like, I can't just wait like wait it out and she was like nope call them now so I called they had appointments for today but because the kids dentist appointments it didn't work out so I'm just gonna go tomorrow and um yeah I think that's all so we're gonna head out and go pick up sass and then I will update you after the dentist appointments okay so home had dinner homework is mostly done bath time is in progress uh, the dentist went well, um, Matthew has to go back next week and get a couple of fillings and then the week after and get another filling, so that's going to be fun. I'm not feeling great and I'm frustrated and just, I just don't feel good, so it's just not a good evening. Um, I'm a little stressed out, a little overwhelmed and just tired. So, that is all for tonight. The sunset's really pretty, though. Um, but that is all for tonight, and I will see you tomorrow. Hello, you guys. So, um, I we got back from groceries. We dropped all the groceries off at my grandfather's, put all the groceries away here. We're back home. I just got the sausage balls made, and they are in the oven. Um, just started those. So that's good. We went into Walmart to trade Michaelis khakis for a size 10 pair of khakis. We're going to hope these fit. Um, I also bought this yellow long sleeve shirt, mostly to wear for Thanksgiving this year and family pictures next year. Um, and then I bought Mikey these super cute um, hair ties. One's got a pumpkin. There's a bat. There's a ghost, and there's a candy corn. They're really cute. And then I also got her this Halloween stitch headband. I have a feeling she will wear this, like, year-round. So, got her that. Um, so, that's what's going on. I'm having my first cup of coffee. It's very late for my first cup of coffee, but I forgot to, I forgot to fix it this morning. So, that is what it is um also i wanted to show you this i ordered this off of tiktok shop it is a flashlight and y'all it's for jay for his stocking my my mom actually bought the same flashlight for him but you can never go wrong with a really good flashlight and this one is a really good flashlight 
So I'm going to show you how good this is. Hold on. Okay, so that's my mom texting me. Look at this light. And then you can click it and dim it. And then it flashes. Sorry about the flash. Then you click it again. Or then you hold it down. And then this side light comes on. And it can do... Hold on, there's going to be more flashing. Red and then red and blue flashing. And then it turns off. It is the coolest flashlight. So... I got him that for his stocking. Um, I thought he would like that. And like I said, my mom got him the same one. So we'll just have to work with that. Um, I have to put up this laundry. Got to get my son to move it for me. And then I'm going to put it all away after I make the bed. And then get the meatball or the sausage balls out of the oven. Then I got to make banana bread. I need to get the kids' laundry in the washer, which requires my son's assistance. And I think that's everything for now. It's a lot of stuff, but it's all got to get done. <laughs> So I told you I'd explain why I'm going back to the podiatrist. So um, one of the problems I'm having is the um, back of my heel is hurting so bad. Like I can barely walk, um, especially first thing in the morning. Um, it hurts to like touch it and it's all around my heel. So that is problem number one that needs to get taken care of. Problem number two, I'm going to show you. Ignore the bumps. The bumps are from my socks. But do you see all of that bruising all across the top of my foot? I have not done anything to my foot. Nothing. Um, no, like, injury. No, nothing like that. And this bruising keeps popping up. So we can't figure out what's going on there. And then... If you look at the bottom of this toe here, you can see how it's like, it's messed up. I don't know. There's something going on with it. So I have lots, <sighs> I have lots of things to talk to him about. So we're just going to go get this foot looked at and see what we're going to do about it. Um, I'm worried he's going to want to put me in a boot. And the reason I say I'm worried about it is because if he does that, then a lot of pressure is going to be on my left foot. And my left foot is the one that keeps breaking. And I don't want to put a lot of pressure on it because I don't want it to break again. So, but I showed my mom the bruising on the top of my foot. And she was like, you, you need to go to the podiatrist again. And I was like, can't it just wait? Can't it just wait? And she said, absolutely not. So, it's not waiting. I'm going. Um gonna get that checked out and yeah that's that um I need to wrap Christmas gifts I've been working on slowly wrapping Christmas gifts like putting stuff that needs to go in bags in bags um I need to go to Dollar General and grab some more bags that are the right size for a couple of gifts um because I don't have them um but yeah that's that. So, anyways, just wanted to update you.
to the podiatrist and everything is fine. Um, I have some bruising on the top of my foot that I showed you that is from, and the thing on the bottom of my foot, that's all a reaction from a steroid shot that I had a while back. Um, and then he had to do a new steroid shot in my heel to hopefully help with that pain. So that's how that went. As you saw, I've been wrapping gifts. We've already had dinner and, um, run to Dollar General to pick up a couple of gift wrapping things. And yeah, now my room is a mess, but I'm making progress on these gifts. So yay. For Hello you guys. So it is Halloween day. It is, uh, Thursday, October 31st. Um, we just got back from Mikey's parade and class party, um, and she got tons of candy and tons of goodies and treats, and then we went to the book fair, and she got a couple of books, and, um, I bought a couple of stocking stuffers for Matthew, and, um, what else? We got our Christmas pajama pants in from... Old Navy, so I'll open those and show them to you here in a minute. The check engine light is on in my car, which is a problem, and I gotta figure that out. And I don't know when we're gonna have time to figure that out because our weekend is so slammed. Um, so I don't know if my husband's gonna end up having to take the day off tomorrow and figure out what's wrong with my car or what's gonna happen with that. So, yay for that. Um, my dad is coming by at like 3 o'clock this afternoon to see the kids and give them their treats. And then we're going to have dinner and then we're going to go trick-or-treating. Um, so that's the plan for the day. For right now, we're just relaxing. Um, we were going to go to my grandfather's house, but with the check engine light on on my car, I don't really want to drive all the way over there. It's not very far, but I just would like to not drive as much as I can on a check engine light. So I'm going to avoid that. Um, I do need to get um, some help getting laundry started and then um, go from there. So that's what I'm going to go do. wanted to show you a couple of things. First, this is the puzzle that we're currently working on. Super duper hard. Everything is blue. Like super hard. Why did I pick this puzzle? I don't know. It's beautiful. It's a Thomas Kincaid puzzle. It's gorgeous, but it's very hard. But we did make progress last night. We got most of Mickey and Minnie done. We got Chip and Dale done. We're making progress. So that's that. Next thing I want to show you is this guest room. I'm doing Christmas wrapping, um, as you saw earlier. So this is all my trash. These are my wrapping papers, which honestly, I think I'm going to get rid of this one, this one, and maybe these two. They're just not my aesthetic, so I think I'm going to get rid of them. Um, over here, we've got my Christmas book. We've got a Christmas gift that I need to find a box for for my brother. This is my mom's birthday gift, tape and Sharpie for wrapping presents. This is one of Michael's friend's Christmas gifts. This is some Christmas stuff. This is all of our wrapping stuff minus wrapping paper. And then over here is the pile of Christmas gifts. It's a big pile and I can barely get to my bookshelf. So, um, that's fun. Um, anyways, so it's a little, it, I cleaned it earlier, so it looks a little better. I still need to wrap this gift. Um, and I need to figure out what I did with the kids' white shirts. Are they under here? I found them. Never mind. Uh, so that's our Christmas pajamas. I need to go to my mother-in-law's and make the decals for them, but uh, that's our Christmas jammies. So we're making big progress here. Things are cleaned up a little bit. I am gonna throw these away. Um, I do need to wrap this though. This is for Michael's friend Sawyer. Uh, it's my friend Ashley's little boy. So I'm going to wrap that up for Sawyer. Um, and then I'll be done wrapping Christmas presents for now. It's chaos. <laughs> Currently listening to Off to the Races, and I'm reading Power Play by Chelsea Curdo. So those are my two books right now. I'm barely into this one, though, like 8%.
Getting ready to head out to go trick or treating. Oh, quit moving. I got Wednesday Adams back here. You can barely see her, but and then a uh, teenager a who's not trick or treating. Yeah. I um, kind of thing. <laughs> but we are on our way. <laughs> oh no, the lighted ones? No. Oh, I love the little Wednesday! Well, <laughs> the Wednesday is so great! I put that in your underwear! <laughs> uh, we are back home, so now we are handing out candy. It is raining. I'm sure you can hear it so we don't have a ton of trick-or-treaters but um we are handing out candy to the few kids that do okay. stop by um and mikey got a lot, of candy. a lot of candy like this bag is at least half full probably half full so lots of candy um and yeah that's all so Good morning, you guys. It is Friday, November the 1st, and I wanted to show you between this giant bag of candy that we had left over, which we only had like a third of it left over after I gave some to my pops, and all of her trick-or-treating, this is how much candy we have. Open it. So it is a full double shoe box size bin of candy, and then we have this little bit of bags left. There's really not that many, so I'm going to go through and open those up today and dump them in here uh, and get that done. I've already started taking down some Halloween. I Really, all I did was take the lights out of here, um, but it's all coming down today, and fall is all going up. So, that's the plan for the day, and we'll check in in a little bit. So, I wanted to tell y'all a little bit about our Halloween last night. We... When trick-or-treating, uh, Matthew did not trick-or-treat, Michaela did. Um, we went like to my aunt's house, we went to my grandfather's house, we went around our neighborhood. Uh, we have a local fire department that hands out candy, a local EMS station that hands out candy. So um, we stopped at all those places, the school, you know, all of that. Um, she got tons of candy and then we came home and just handed candy out to the rest of the kids. We got home probably around six and started handing out candy um, and handed out almost all of our candy, which was good. So that was fun. We had a really good time. Mikey loved handing out candy. I asked her, do you like handing out candy or getting candy more? And she said, handing it out. So that's fantastic. Um, Today, I don't have anything going on um, until later. I was going to take down the Halloween decor and put up fall, but my fall bin is downstairs and the Halloween bin is out in the shed. And so I'm like trying to decide, do I want to take down what I've got and like put it all on the kitchen table or do I just want to wait until I get the bin? Like, what do I want to do? So I'm trying to decide on that, like what to do. Um, cause like some of my stuff, I, some of my normal decor is in the Halloween bins. So, um, anyways, that's not important. Uh, <laughs> how many times can I say, uh, in one clip? So that's what's going on. I am going to finish watching this Jessica Braun vlog. Um, and I'm going to maybe put on my book and take down Halloween decor. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. It's cold in here. Um, like really cold. So that's been fun. My husband got a big, I don't know if you can see it. There's a cardboard box out here. It's a big package. Um, not sure what that is. And there's another package that's supposed to come today. 
that is his Christmas gift from me. So there's that. Um, anyways, that is all. I will check in in a bit. I'm making some kind of progress with fall decorating. Like I've got my pillows and stuff figured out. This I think needs a fall garland of some sort. Up here is good. Um, this shelf is good except I need a smaller stand for that. But this shelf is all good. This I haven't done yet because um, I can't take this down. And this I would had on. So I turned it off to let it cool. Uh, over here is done. Then I've got this table and all I have is this. So I'm not sure what I'm doing here. Um, I want to do something more, but I'm just not sure what that's going to be. Maybe get a garland and wrap it around it. I don't know. Something. Um, in the kitchen, it looks like Halloween barfed. So the whole table is nothing but Halloween. We've got a ton of Halloween over here. I haven't taken down any Halloween in the kitchen except for my coffee mugs, which look like they've thrown up over here. And then here is my coffee bar. So I've got all my mugs except for the one that I'm drinking out of right now. All of my mugs are up here. Um, I can tell you kind of, I got this one in Disney. This is from Dollar General. I think that one's from Dollar Tree. I have no idea. I have no idea. Probably Dollar General. This is Hobby Lobby. Don't know. Dollar Tree. This is Dollar General, I think. Yes. This is Dollar General. This one's Dollar General. This one is Hobby Lobby. And I've had this one for a thousand years. Um, and then I've got this super cute little turkey plate that I got from Hobby Lobby, I think, um, to put like my used spoons on. So I got this all done. Um, what else? I did, do, 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 do. let's go to the back of the house. I know I have a fall pillow for my bed, but I don't know where it's at. So I got to find it. But I did put this thankful sign up here. I put this little pumpkin here. I put this hello fall sign here. And then over here, I put our plaid P and our plaid thankful with pumpkin. And then in the bathroom, all I have in here is this little pumpkin on the door. Um, nobody really uses our bathroom except for us, so didn't really need to decorate it that much. But I'm walking literally all over this house. In here, I still have to take down the shower curtain, but I put our little weenie dog here. And then a couple of pumpkins here. And I need my regular decor to finish, finish that. And then in the guest room, which looks like Christmas, throw up all over it. I have this pumpkin here, this pumpkin here, over here. I have these two little pumpkins and then this guy here. And then on my little table, here I've got this guy and then over here I have these three little pumpkins so that's that's fall um, I need to do the kitchen I still need to do the kitchen but I need to get my Halloween bin so that I can pack up Halloween so that I can um, put out the fall decor so that's that um, let's see Mom and Bob are working on algebra. She's working on algebra. Currently, I'm working. Work no, currently, I'm working on fractions. Good point. I have no idea what's happening. <laughs> they're trying to figure it out. So that's what they're doing. Um, and I am just drinking my coffee, hanging out, doing nothing because I've already finished what was on my list that I can do. So, yay for that. My mom went to a little local store that we have and found this candle ring. So now I don't need to buy a garland for there and it's beautiful. And it fills out this table really nicely with still leaving spots for things to go on the table, as you can see. Over there, 
is a whole different story. Those pumpkins look like crap over there. So, and I see that Jay found my Halloween tree that fell down. And instead of putting it with all the Halloween stuff, stuck it back on the table. Uh, <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Corner of my eye, I saw the same colors. I've set it up, and it fell back over. I was like, you know what? Not today. Not Anyways, today. Um, he also forgot to bring home the box for this. So we don't have a box for that, um, which is fun. So not sure what we're doing with that. I guess the haunted house is staying out for a little while longer. I don't know. Or it'll go downstairs on the table. Or something. What room on the table? Well, we'll find room. I don't know. Something. But he does have to swap out my wax melters today. And uh, we have to get this stuff put away. Have to. Hello. So, we just had basketball practice. Got home. Ate lunch. Um, and now we're working on cleaning up more of Halloween and getting fall put out. Um, we got the table cleared off and got all of Halloween put in its bins and put up and fall is all out the only thing that we haven't dealt with yet is this look at all these mugs these are all my Halloween mugs and they don't have a home so gotta figure that out uh, we did go to Dollar General and picked up desserts for tonight um, it is my mom's birthday, so happy birthday to my mom, if you didn't know. Um, it's her birthday, and we are going to her house tonight. My brother and my sister-in-law flew in from Seattle, um, so we're going to get to visit with them and all of that, and it's going to be a good time, and I think that's it. So, that's what's going on. Um, we're really not doing anything. I need to get ready later uh jason's gonna take mikey to her friend's um party and um uh, i'm gonna stay here and do some cleaning and stuff like that i've got a really bad headache i threw out my knee this morning and my foot is killing me so i'm just not doing very good today so jay's gonna take the reins and take mikey to this party so Anyways, that is all um, for now. The lighting here is horrible, like it always is. But I'm going to fix a third cup of coffee and just kind of chit-chat with you guys for a minute. Um, this is my coffee mug, my first coffee. So let's fix coffee. <laughs> My coffee is always the same. It is Premier Protein and Stoke, uh, what is it? Not too sweet cold brew. So anyways, let's just talk for a minute about depression and anxiety. Um, I would say since my grandmother died, um, which is, wow, well over a year ago now, since my grandmother died, I have lost a lot of passion in my life for a lot of things. Um, Y'all know I used to be an avid cross-stitcher. I have finished one piece this year. Um, and I'm like in the process of working on another piece, but I've been working on it for many, 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 many months. Um, so I've lost I've lost passion for a lot of things, but on top of that, my fear and anxiety have skyrocketed and my depression has, I'm probably more depressed than I've ever been in my life. And that's saying a lot. Um, I don't want to do my job. Like I don't want to work. I. I just don't. Um, I don't have a passion to do much of anything. Sometimes I don't even have a passion to read, and y'all know reading is like my life. Um, so that's really hard. Um, 
it's really difficult to get up in the morning. And it's more than just my mental health. It's my physical health too has not been great. Y'all know I've broken my foot twice, my left foot twice since April. Um, I threw my knee out today, which is hurting like crazy. Um, I've got a severe case of uh, plantar fasciitis going on in my right foot right now. I've had migraines on and off um, for the last few months. Um, you know, just not doing right. Um, but I wanted to be real with you and real honest with you that it's tough for me to get out of bed in the mornings. Um, and not just physically, but mentally as well. I am trying to be more open and vocal and honest and real about um, mental health. It's very important. Taking care of your mental health is really important. I do have a psychiatrist. I don't have a therapist because therapists are expensive. Um, so I don't have a therapist, but I do have a psychiatrist that I talk to every single, like every three months. Um, and I have an appointment with her this month, which I'm looking forward to because I want to change up some of my meds, um, either increase doses or, excuse me, or completely change up what I'm on. Click, click, how to walk through. Um, something, I want to do something with my meds because I just... I'm too depressed and anxious to be on the amount of meds that I'm on. I'm too depressed and anxious. Like, that's just what it boils down to. So, I want to talk to her about changing up some stuff. And, um, I mean, I had a mental breakdown the other night. I called my mom and told her I was just tired. I, I've been telling my husband, like, I'm exhausted. I am physically, mentally spiritually, emotionally drained. And I have been since my grandmother died. I'm not going to cry. I have been since my grandmother died and it just has snowballed since then. Like that was a huge thing, but it just sent the ball rolling. And so now it's this ginormous problem. And I've been trying to cover it up and hide it and, you know, all of that for so long. And now I just am ready to just not. I'm ready to just be real and honest and tell you guys that I am suffering. And I know that there's people who have it worse in the world, that have worse health, that have worse mental health, that have more problems. I get it. But for me my plate is overflowing. Um, I am having stress induced seizures again. Um, I, it, it's just a lot. Okay. So I know that you can come on here and, but I don't like to compare. I don't like to compare my good and bad to other people's good and bad. If that makes sense. Like if you were to sit here and say, well, somebody could have it worse. Yeah. Well, there's other people who have it better. And does that mean that I shouldn't celebrate my successes because there's other people who have bigger successes? It also goes the other way. Should I not be sad because I'm sad about something just because other people can be sad about their things too? I think it's relative to who you are um, and relative to what you can withstand and withhold. And I am at my threshold. Um... And that's really what it boils down to. Um, but yeah, so I wanted to chat about that. I hope that you all are taking care of your physical and mental health um, to the best of your abilities. If you ever need somebody to talk to, I am always a um, free to chat with space. Um, always a judgment-free zone. And yeah, so... That is all, I guess. Um, I'm waiting for them to get back. It is 3 o'clock, so I'm expecting they should be back in like 15 minutes. Um, I'm going to go let the dogs out. I'm going to drink this cup of coffee. And I am going to head out. Good morning, you guys. Today is Sunday, November the 3rd. 
Um, last night was so much fun. It was so good to see my brother and my sister-in-law and my sister. Uh, I see them probably twice a year. Uh, <laughs> my brother and sister-in-law live in Seattle. My sister lives closer, um, but we uh, don't ever get to see her, basically. Um, so, good to see them. Uh, my mom loved her gifts. Uh, I think I showed them on a vlog recently, but I got my mom an ornament that was um, her and her mom uh, who passed away last year. And so I got her that, and then I got her a sweatshirt that says, This Dranny Loves Her Little Pumpkins. And on the sleeve, it had two little pumpkins, and it had the kids' names on them. So she loved them. Um, so good gifts. Uh, we ate nachos. We hung out. We blew out candles. I will put some pictures here. Um, we took a family picture, except Matthew didn't want to be in it, so everybody but Matthew was in it, but Matthew was there. Um, <laughs> and we just had a really good time talking, spending time together. It was wonderful. Uh, we had some good laughs, and um, we put... My mom had a six candle, but not a two candle, and so she put a six and two single candles on there, so we joked about it was her 611th birthday. Um, so that was fun. And yeah, today we got up super early. Time fell back an hour. We woke up at five o'clock. Um, <laughs> and um, we have just been meandering around doing menial things, waiting until we can go to Sam's. So uh, that's the goal today. We have to go to Sam's. There's a book sale at a local bookstore that's going out of business. And Michael has her Girl Scouts bridging ceremony at 2 o'clock. Speaking of which, I need to get green bean casserole in the crock pot. So I'm going to go do that. Um, and I will check in. The best thing I got was this Snoop on this dude ornament from my bestie. I'm so excited to give it to him. And I got Pizza Bowl. Pizza Bowl. Alright, quick Walmart sand fall. Probably not very quick, to be honest. Uh, Snoop Dogg ornament. I got Stitch Halloween socks. We got this Day of the Dead chocolate cupcake kit. We got a Witch's Hat brownie kit. Three picture frames. We got this sweatshirt for Michaela. We got this Dogman game for my niece for Christmas. And then we got a bunch of different wax melters. And then we got some outdoor flags. Uh, a fall one and a Christmas one. Mikey got a festival. Sam's. We got two gallons of tea. We got the turkey and ham Lunchables. We got Baby Bell, we got hot dogs, string cheese, Premier Protein for coffee, Go-Gurts for kids in the morning, two boxes of Crescent Rolls, uh, Honey Buns, this is uh, for teachers at, a, at the local school, uh, it's a Girl Scout project. We got Goldfish, we got Apple Jacks, we got Shredded Cheese, I think that's everything. So now I'm gonna work on putting all of this away and charge my camera battery. <laughs> Just wanted to give you a quick update to the rest of our night last night. We uh, went to Michaela's bridging ceremony. It was so cute. Um, and if I find any pictures that I can post, I'll post them here, but it was really cute. She moved up to the brownie level from Daisy. Well, she's new, so she was never a Daisy, but like she moved up to the brownie level. Um, and then we went to my grandfather's and picked up Michaela and picked up Michaela, picked yeah, up Matthew. Um, and then we came home and 
Jay and I watched an episode of 911, and the kids played on their electronics for the night. And then we went to bed, and it was a great night. So, um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye.